What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go stop by my friend Z's house to take a closer look at the 2021 Orbea Occam H30 trail bike. So we got the tools ready to roll. Let's hit it. Upon arrival, I made my way towards the door for a proper greeting. Hey, stranger. Okay, so we're ready to rock and roll here. Got all the goodies unloaded. Stand is up. Box is here. Looks like he's already ripped into it once, but we'll rip into it again. Really? Somebody did. Somebody went peeking. Let's see what we can see. Ah, the new bike day box. Always good. Yeah, this thing's packaged up really well, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and get it on the stand, and I will be right back. So right off the rip, we can take a quick look at the spec. We have Shimano MT201s. This is the Marzocchi Z2. Stealth theme though, no red here. It's just an all black bike, looks pretty dope. I think this is a Fox DPS is what they call it without the reservoir, is that right? Yes, Fox DPS. What dropper is this, do you know? No. I don't know either. I have to figure that out, but it works well because I just had to pop it up a moment ago. And you can look down here, you see some detailing. It's got some gloss black on this inner window. Has an asymmetrical frame shape, a lot like the stump jumper, which looks pretty sweet. And then we also have the new Dior 12 speed, which looks really good. So real quick, some first impressions. Orbea does a fantastic job with the paint. This is a matte black, but it has a lot of metallic in it. I'm not sure if that's gonna show or not. Um, but there's a lot of transitioning to gloss with the lettering. And then again, in this asymmetrical window here. One thing I've noticed that I've never seen before is these really thick tubes that go from the down tube into the rear triangle to protect the cable housings. I think that looks awesome. And it's super tough, probably don't have to worry about it much. So that's a nice cue. You can also see this really nice chain slap protector here. It's ribbed. You see that a lot with the fancier bikes like Specialized. Just keeps noise down to a minimum. All these things just kind of tie into a really complete looking package here. This thing is a beautiful ride. All right, moving on now that we have the bike complete as one finished product, we're gonna slap on some custom bits that he had rounded up. We're gonna put an orange theme on here. We have the Ergon GE1 grips, SDG Bel Air, some muck off orange tubeless valve stems, some bits from our friends over at Wolf Tooth and Anodized Orange, and then some orange one-up component pedals from his last bike. So let's get that up and running. Okay, so as I was putting in these Anodized Orange bottle cage bolts, I noticed something odd. I knew this bike was aluminum, but look at this thing. Where are the welds? It looks phenomenally clean. So props to Orbea on whatever process you're using to make the welds invisible, that's impressive. Literally the only place you see them is back here in the rear triangle, but even carbon bikes have AL rear triangle sometimes, thus having welds too. So you really could probably fool people into believing this is a carbon bike if you were that kind of person. Uh, but yeah, I'm very impressed by this. In review, Here's all the orange bits that we've put on so far. And I'd say it looks pretty fresh. We do have to do the tubeless stems in a moment. But we're waiting for the pump to get here because I accidentally left it at home. We're all done here. Just installed the valve stems, which look really cool. This particular cap here is also a valve stem remover. I really like that touch. So we are all tubeless, ready to go. 
The next step, as you already know, is to move it outside and get some final shots. All right, gang, now it's time for my favorite part, the part where I get to ride the new bike that's not mine. If you like this video, please make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and then of course, remember to subscribe because I need your support. And then lastly, I'm looking for new patrons. I'm gonna have my Patreon link in the description below. So please consider that as well. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>